Hello everyone, so I did my nursing theory project on Ida Jean Orlando and her theory about the dynamic nurse-patient relationship. So here's a little background on Miss Orlando. She was a first-generation Irish-American born in 1926. She received her nursing degree from New York Medical College at the Lower Fifth Avenue Hospital of Nursing. She received her BSN in Public Health from St. John's University, and she received her Master's of Arts degree from Columbia University in Mental Health Nursing. Nowadays, she is happily married and lives in the Boston area. Some more background on what she did in her career includes she was an associate professor at Yale School of Nursing and also served as the director of the graduate program in mental health psychiatric nursing. She was also a project investigator at Yale of the National Institute of Mental Health Grant. The research she did for this grant is what led her to develop the core of her theory. She was also a director of a research project at McLean Hospital in Belmont, Massachusetts. So her theory is centered around the dynamic nurse-patient relationship. Also called the deliberative nursing process theory, it is a nursing theory that allows nurses to create an effective nursing care plan that can easily be adapted when and if any complications arise with the patient. All patients' behavior can be a cry for help, both verbal and nonverbal, and it is up to the nurse to interpret the, this behavior and determine the needs of the patient. The deliberative nursing process has five stages, assessment, diagnosis, planning, implementation, and evaluation. The major concepts of her theory include the following. 1. Function of professional nursing, which is the organizing principle. This includes finding out and meeting the patient's immediate needs for help. The 2. The presenting behavior, which leads to the problematic situation. To find out the immediate need for help, the nurse must first recognize the situation as problematic. The presenting behavior of the patient may represent a plea for help. This, the stimulus, causes an autonomic internal response in the nurse and the nurse re nurse's behavior causes a response in the patient. Three, the immediate reaction, which is an internal response. The person, the person perceives with any one of his five senses, the perceptions simulate autonomic thought, each thought simulates an automatic feeling, and then the person acts. This is defined as a person's immediate reaction. The nursing process discipline, which includes investigation. Any observation shared and explored with the patient is immediately useful in ascertaining and meeting the need or finding out that he is not in need of anything at that time. The nurse does not assume anything until she checks the patient. When the nurse does not explore with the patient, a clear communication between them stops. And lastly is improvement, which is equal to resolution. It is not the nurse's activity that is evaluated, but rather its result. Whether the activity serves to help the patient communicate her or his need for help and how it is met. In each contact, the nurse repeats a process of learning and how to help the individual patient. The goal of her theory was for a nurse to act deliberatively rather than automatically. While following this theory, the nurse will have meaning behind the action, which means the patient gets care geared specifically towards his or her needs at this time. The nursing process is also one that can easily be adapted to different patients with different problems and can be stopped at any time depending on the patient's progress or health. This makes her theory adaptable and universal to the whole nursing field. Nursing care needs to be flexible to adapt to any situation, and her theory addresses this need and helps nurses keep their focus on their patient. I just want to finish up with a quote from Miss Orlando. She says, patients have their own meaning and interpretations of situations. Therefore, nurses must validate their inferences and analysis with patients before drawing conclusions. I think this means that we must keep the patient in mind when deciding on care rather than just blindly following a care plan. Thank you.